everybody it's your girl miss classy and i'm here today to talk to you guys about um pharmacy shopping vitamin e and why i've been missing for so dang long i've been sick for like the whole christmas like i've been feeling sick i was caught up in the christmas spirit hey if you guys want to see what carnival is like in the caribbean i'll definitely put um the link to our um Carnival page below so you guys can check out how much fun we'll be having here in St. Kitts. So I'll do that for you guys. But today I want to talk about me and some stuff that I picked up. So I'm sick and I just came from the doctor. I'm wearing this cute shirt that I bought somewhere in town in a store. I don't know. And I'm wearing on my lips MAC, Ruby Woo, and Diva. I'm wearing the both of them because I put on the Ruby Woo first. And it was just like a little too extra popping. So I put the Diva on because the Diva is a little darker, as you guys might know. Um, I might do a lipstick tutorial for you guys to show you guys because I've been really stocking up on some MAC stuff lately. And um, all I have on my face is um, this concealer. It's Black Opal in Truly Topaz. That's what I've been using for a while now. Um, just like on the hair and cover up a little bit of my spot. And then I use my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Matte Powder in that deep. And that's it. I usually do a little eyeliner and then that's my routine. Like I, uh, for foundations, I use Revlon Color Stay, but I only do foundation when I'm going out. So, um... I went to get my medicine because as I told you guys, I just came from the doctor and I have a swollen tonsil. So they gave me some antibiotics and of course I had to go down the beauty aisle. <laughs> um, and I came across something interesting that I actually want to talk to you guys about. So this is where I went. It's called, oh you guys see, but it's called Hosford's Value Mart. Okay, here's my receipt. I spent $62 dang dollars. $62.91. So I got some cotton balls because lately I've been ignoring my face. Well, not lately. For a while I've been ignoring my face. So I needed some cotton balls to put my, my toner on. So I picked up these and they were... These were... Um, six dollars, yeah, six dollars and sixty-seven cents EC. I don't know how much that is. That's probably two something in U.S. money. Yeah, two something. Um, that's for that. And I bought this Pears soap called Oil Clear Hypoallergenic Pears soap. I'm not really good at this. I'm videotaping with my phone, so. And this was for 503. So that's also probably two dollars and something cents. My medicine that they gave me augmenting. I don't know what the heck that is. But it's supposed to help with my, my tonsil. Okay, and this was for 35.84. That's 20 something that's 20 something dollars. No, that's not 20 something now. 20 something dollars is 50. So that's somewhere in the teens for this, like 15 or so. I don't know. And then this, which is what I want to talk to you guys about. So lately I've been like really into, been really into vitamin E and skin stuff. Like mostly vitamin E though. Like I got vitamin E supplements to take. Every cream I bought for the past two weeks or so has, has in vitamin E. So, I wanted to talk to you guys about a specific word that you can look for to know if the vitamin E is 100% natural or if it's combined with other compounds, basically. So, I don't know if I'm calling this word right, but it's 
taco for real taco for real whatever so when it says taco for real that's another name for vitamin E acetate. Okay, so that is the real vitamin E. Tocophil. It's T O C O P H E R Y L. Okay. Now when it says tocophil, that's mixed. That's mixed with some other compounds. It still has vitamin E in it, but it's mixed with other stuff. So it's not it's not pure. So you guys when you're buying vitamin E, you might, you might want to look on some of the other stuff. I have a, I have a vitamin E oil in there as well um, in my bedroom. Should I want to go get it? Yeah, I'm going to go get it right now. Hold on. Yes, I'm back. I dashed. <laughs> Okay, so I've been using this on my skin. It's vitamin E skin oil with keratin in it. And this is the bomb diggity. It's by Spring Valley. The brand is Spring Valley. And I didn't I didn't buy this here. My friend from Florida, she brought this down and she gave it to me. And you won't be able to see it, but it has Tucker for real. Yes, it has tocopherol acetate in it. So this is the real deal as well. This also has tocopherol in it. So when it says tocopherol, I know it sounds funny saying that word, but whatever. When it says tocopherol, it's probably mixed with other compounds. It has vitamin E in it, just not pure, okay? But tocopherol is vitamin E. That's the other name for vitamin E acetate for real all right so that's what we're talking about i would recommend every girl man too but i'm talking about you be ladies all of ladies stock up on some vitamin e eat it drink it put it on your skin put it all over vitamin e is so good and it's been doing an amazing job for me this is what i just bought so i want to see how well it is Cocoa butter never works on me. I don't know. Like, everybody says when you have a spot, use cocoa butter. I've been using cocoa butter since I was small, like a teenager, and it just doesn't work. It doesn't work for anything other than making your skin look amazing, personally for me. I'm not saying it doesn't work for you. For my skin, it doesn't do anything but make it look good, like shine. And I don't even know if it makes it soft, but it doesn't remove spots for me at all, Okay. But <clears throat> this one has cocoa butter, cocoa butter, creamy cocoa butter, petroleum jelly, vitamin E, and it's to hydrate and even skin tone. So I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. And my daughter has a lot of um, little bruises now that she's in preschool and she's ramping. She has a lot of little spots, so probably going to use some of this on her skin as well. So... Thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more stuff. I miss you guys. I won't be back. To, I won't take so long to be done um, before I make another video again, I promise. I have a lot of things to catch up on. Um, I don't think I have any, have any hauls to do. But I'm definitely going to do a what's in my bag um, video, show you guys what I usually take in my bag when I go out and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Bye.